Hi, my name is Dr. Brian Sizdak. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist and the product manager here at Stolting in Psychology. Stolting is a distributor and publisher of psychological assessments and therapeutic products and has been for over 130 years. This video will cover the Porteous Maze test, guide you through the administration and scoring of the test. The Porteous Maze test is published by Stolting. If you have any questions about the Porteous Maze test or any other psychological products by Stolting, please visit the website at stoltingco.com for more information or to obtain contact information to communicate with someone at Stolting. In this video, I will introduce the Porteous Maze test and give an overview of its properties. I'll talk about research that's been done with the test. I'll talk about how to administer the test, how to score it, and give some examples to show how the Porteous Maze test can be used clinically. So by the end of this video, you should be able to administer the Porteous Maze test, score it, and apply it to your own clinical needs. The Porteous Maze test was developed by Stanley Porteous in 1919. The test consists of a series of mazes that get progressively more difficult as the test is being administered. The test mainly addresses executive functioning skills such as planning, inhibition, decision making, and spatial awareness. Later, the test also came to be applied to issues of temperament, examining impulsiveness, and more recently, it's been used as a neuropsychological screening instrument in areas involving attention and other neuropsychological areas, such as brain disorders, Alzheimer's disease, and other cognitive issues. An advantage of using the Porteous as a neuropsychological instrument is that it is relatively nonverbal, which allows it to be able to distinguish neuropsychological issues from verbal issues. Another advantage of the Porteous is that it has been normed and standardized on a broad sample and later came to be applied to different clinical populations, which means it's able to be used with a variety of groups of people. The Porteous Maze Test will yield a test quotient, which is a measure of an individual's capacity in areas that the Porteous Maze Test measures compared to his or her chronological age. The test also yields a qualitative score, which allows the examiner to understand the examinee's difficulties with inhibition. I'll now review some of the research that's been conducted with the Porteous Maze Test. References for this research can be found in the Maze Test Manual, which is included with all kits. The Maze Test was originally normed with a thousand children and adolescents by Porteous and his colleagues. After that initial phase of norming, modifications were made to the test, mostly in the area of scoring procedures, and the test was again administered to an additional 1,255 children and adolescents resulting in Porteous being able to publish normed test quotient scores, which are a comparison of an individual's test abilities to his chronological age. These test quotient scores were normed for individuals up to age 16. However, there is a procedure for deriving a test quotient score for adults and those older than age 16 and is explained in the manual. The test instructions and interpretation are not complex either in understanding or in, in clinical application. Furthermore, there is very little dependence on either language or culture, which allows the maze test to be used with a wide range of individuals without the difficulties typically associated with verbal tests. Because of this, the test has been adapted for use and has been used with a number of international populations and individuals of different cultural backgrounds. Early research with the test found that test scores were correlated with an individual's employment success. Also, the test was found to correlate well with other neuropsychological instruments, 
such as the self-ordered pointing test, the Wisconsin card sorting test, and the Stroop test. The test, more recently, has been found to be able to distinguish between individuals with traumatic brain injuries, Alzheimer's disease, and those prone to impulsive behaviors such as substance use or illegal behavior. More recent studies have examined the validity of the Porteous Maze test with more modern population demographics. These researchers found that the ages of the mazes corresponded well to individuals' developmental ages and recommended the maze test for use as a measure of executive functioning and visuospatial skills.